09 Mazda 3. Camera, check. Steering controls, check. <laughs> and I will show you all this in three. Yeah, it's kind of old. And that door just showed itself. Not sure what's going on there. 04 to 09 Mazda 3. That's what we're putting in. That's what we're putting in. We're bringing this car back to life. And we're going to see what David did for us over at Crutchfield. And he wired everything up for me. That's good. Thank you for that, Dave. But I'm going to have to say... I'm jumping the e-brake wire to make sure that we have video while driving. So, let's get started. We already pulled this guy out. We're gonna keep these cars alive. See that? That one's hard, right? We got one screw and one screw. And we're taking out Mr. Kenwood saying sayonara. So, we also have a camera. So let's go start in the back. Now for editing purposes, I took out the license plate. And we're gonna put a camera in. So let's unbox after we just removed all that. If that's your car, then pretty organized. Let's get to work. We're gonna to try to figure out how to run this wire through this somewhere, somehow with the spare tire out of the way. I found a rubber. And we're gonna pull our rubber off and see what remains. We're gonna put a hole in it. Because we're gonna go right through that floor. See, watch. That, can you see my foot down there? Hey look, that's my foot. Let's run wires. And this is what I do for you people. That's how you put it in reverse without anybody in the car. Car's not on. And yet the reverse lights are on because that's what we need to do to find reverse. So we're gonna find reverse right here. We hope. Let's test this guy. Let's get something to poke this wire and see if it works. We've got positive. Now let's go put it back in park and see this turns off there you go it's off there's reverse that's what we're gonna do that's good let's start running wires tape check snake check two pins out make sure this puppy got some wiggle room and we pull there we go now let's get it right through the boot and attach right there some fighting, some prying. We weaseled a zip tie right through. So we can zip tie this, or we could tape this right to the zip tie and pull it through. Tape, check, zip tie, check, pull. Don't lose it. Don't, hey, look, we got it. Poke a hole after you stripped her back. Some pliers. Poke a hole, wrap it around, and tape it. See? I'm gonna push this guy back up because all we had to do was to pull him down. Come on, let's fight. And then, you see, we were never here. Push this guy back down and run the wire down. We were never here. Nothing ever happened. See. Work your way around with a tool that I love and I can't seem to find. And it's right here. This guy. Use this guy to work your way around. Your fingers, either way. Just pull and tuck. As I'm pulling rubber back, I'm tucking the wire. 
See? Not hard. And once we get down here, we're going to hide this part that we extended and move on to connecting this camera and running her in. Taped. Check. Ready to push it through. Check. Pull it through. See? There's the tape. Now let's pull. Ta-da. Ta-da. Whee! And up. See Daisy. All right, yeah. Oh, look, it fits. Yes, that's what I wanted. I wanted these on the inside, so I didn't have to tape them so much. Yes. Unfortunately, we have nothing to hide, and so we're gonna have to just leave the wire exposed. A little bit of tape, once you put the thing back, you'll never see it. So make it as neat as possible, because it will be seen by you. Here's a little trick. That's your ground. Cut a little piece out of the ring terminal so you can just plug it right in. Ooh, you like that? Improvise. There is nowhere to hide this wire, nothing to tuck it away, and we are going to be bare. So, I have tape. This is called GAF. G A F. Better than duct tape, it's like a cloth. But you can use duct tape either way. See? Not bad. Keep it in place. Tuck this little, little lip. Now we go up to the front. See? Not hard. Look, even factory leaves it out. So, go tuck it. I'm being dumb. This came right up. Go under. We're gonna go under. Here's our wire. We just tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Gotta get this tool. This thing is awesome. What you do. Is, well, actually, this one's not too bad. Look, use your finger. But if you don't want to run your finger across it, here you go. Love this thing. Beautiful. Now let's keep going. Now that we're in the front, let's go around and go up. Oh, and uh, don't forget to mount the camera. Oh, and uh, don't forget to put stuff back in the car. It's your stuff. This, easy. Pull it back. Make sure the rubber goes back over the plastic. See that wonderful line? I'm not cleaning that. You can do it. Look, super easy. Just pull it back. See? Tuck behind. Just don't cut your fingers on this thing. Don't run your fingers that way. Just don't do that. And come around. We're gonna pull the radio out after we pull this guy out. Okay, use your fingernails? Nah. But you can use a razor though. Pull it right between this little guy and pop his head out. Hey, look. A wire of some sort. Don't know what that is. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. What are the odds that I bring a CD in there? I mean, it is 2024. No way. Nothing. All right, good. Moving on. Let's get it out. One, two. Hey, look. How easy that was. And they have what's called a pack R4. Now tell me this thing is going to work because then this thing we could send back. Yeah, buddy. Off to the junk pile. Now, we removed the, that thing. Yeah, the microphone, that's it. Let's start putting this stuff in. I mean, it's pretty much already done. I usually like mounting the microphone there, but eh, nah. So I'm putting it there. Running it over, tucking up under, tuck up under, and we're gonna keep tucking away. With this. See? Love this thing. Look at this. Love it. Love, love, love. 
of love. Is it wrong to do the same thing someone else does? See this wire I'm jumping across? The microphone? Just hanging on my hand? Because it's kind of short. I don't want to go down on the carpet. So I'm going to do what the last guy did. Run it right across here. This little panel pops right down. And it pops right back up. And see? Done. Done and done. So let's get the wire back in. Over here. All right, so I'm hiding the GPS antenna right there, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Put this back. See, this just pops in after removing these two screws, which are for this little guy, which I'm not gonna work anymore after we're done anyway. So it does turn on. Take those two screws out, pop this guy out of your way, and I think I lost the screw, but we'll find it, and we'll pop up. See? Now we hide this puppy. Stuck. Done. Put this guy back. Run the wire right in between the two. Here we go. See you later. Bye. Bye. Ish, ish, ish. Done. Here's your wire. Now let's start putting this puppy in together. Recap. GPS antenna. Check. Microphone. Check. What is this? Camera. You have to undo the zip tie and bundle her up. So now, Mr. David, I will not do this. This is e-brake. Pretty sure. Light green. We can double check. Let's see. Let's see if it says on the radio. Because boss is good for that. Yes. Light green. Parking brake. So, we do not want to do this while we drive. We're going to take this guy and put them right to ground. And see? There's your bypass. So you're telling me I didn't have to find the reverse wire in the back and run it to the front? Oh well. It's here anyway. It gave us one over here. Where are you at? Reverse. There you go, buddy. But, camera still needed power, so who cares? Okay, so this kit is giving us the delete and somehow someone kept that i don't know how but it's probably got something to do with the with this wiring over here they cut something jump something but i don't know it's actually good they kept it i don't know but this is this is not technically supposed to be here it's just a delete so read rtfm read the effing manual if you want to do that it's the climate controls but, oh well. See you later. Bye. So, this is quite funny. Your radio is actually sitting crooked. And it's done purposely. Because if you look at the kit, huh, that's new. They angled the radio toward the driver. Hmm, thanks, Metra. Cute. Real cute. So, no, that is not an optical illusion. It is straight, but crooked. There you go. Now let's put it in. Easier bet was pop the this trim. Put it in first and then line the radio up to it. Do it right on my lap. Or you could RTFM. Up to you. Holy Moses, look what I found. A relic. Is it is it really? Oh my god. Hmm. Let's leave that in there. We're trying to find a spot to run the USB. So let's start taking the stuff apart and see what we got going on. So let's try to get it in here to be a nice guy. I don't know if it'll be long enough though. So let's see. Pop up. Pop up. And I think two screws will get these guys out. But let me see if I can go around that without. Because I have zip ties that are long enough. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if I can grab this puppy. Snake, snake, snake. Ha! Ha! Now let's tape these puppies up. Let's see if they're going to be long enough. Because I don't think they're going to be long enough. Damn it! I just put them in there. Yeah, let's take this guy out. Let's unscrew this and see if we can drill a hole in that. Alright, so here's the game plan. 
put the shifter over after you pull the e-brake so the car doesn't go rolling. Take the two screws out, loose one down onto the floor, and pop this guy out. And this is actually a bottom. I like it. This is open. I like it even more. So I'm going to put them here and not put this back because I'd rather lose this than gain USB because look at this thing. I am not putting it in there. Capiche? Capiche. Recap. This was already there. This I screwed in. This I plugged in. This I pushed in. That I pushed in. Front left, front right, rear left, rear right. And then, camera, because this is kind of loose, little tape. Plug this in. I mean, come on, this is self-explanatory. And plug this in. Now, let's see if this puppy works. Oh, and uh, don't forget the steering wheel control if you uh, have that. Holy Moses, it works. I still want to know how they got that to work. I don't know. I'd like to find out. But, pull this guy off. See if the steering wheel controls work. Hey, look. They work. All right, yeah. What do we got? Mode. All right. AV input. Okay. Tuner. Okay. Oops. Than that. So there you have it. Like it? Don't like it? Share? Don't share? Subscribe? Don't subscribe? Thanks for watching.